27th renewal of this greatest classic here in Barbados. This afternoon, we have a field of 11 horses out of 12 left for this classic. The horse, number 11 horse, another dove we understand, has been scratched and she will not be going this afternoon. The likely favorite this afternoon um, is Mr. Mosley's Paddy Bird with High Girl probably, if not starting very far behind her. But they have a couple of other horse, horses with good chances this afternoon, Decade being one of them and Fungalore being another. We greet you on an afternoon here from the garrison that's bright, cheerful. We expect to have some excellent going here this afternoon and we expect to see some very fine racing. Ben Tom returns, of course, in the sixth race this afternoon with the A-Class going nine furlongs. He's had some spectacular work during the week, and we expect a good crowd on hand to see this Senator C.D. Seals really great racehorse put down another tremendous form performance here this afternoon. We hope you enjoy the broadcast we bring for you. We will later on in the program have a small preview of the horses in the parade ring before the United Derby, and we hope you enjoy the coverage during the afternoon. All in, any moment we should be on our way. This is the first race on the second day of the Barbados Turf Club's second season of racing for 1986. I'll close that red flag to tell you that everything is in order. Chicken Spice beyond one, Jasky two, Shapiro also on the pull going to start. The light flashing. Any moment they should be on their way. There they go, the box is open, and Jasky came out quite quickly, but Don Juan moving up sweetly on the outside along with Son of a Dove. Jasky on the inside towards the outside, happy times going right up to join the leaders. The four and a half belongs to go. Coming across from the outside to pick it up is Ariska. Ariska in front now from the Happy Chimes. Behind these and going well. It looks like Son of a Dove tucked in on the inside is Don Juan. Behind Don Juan and coming with a run also is Jasky the Martinican horse. And the others with the skipper there as well towards the outside and making ground is the Grey Hop Skip and Jump. Golden Egg, is, uh, Choice Egg is there. Also making some ground from the rear is Moon Dancer. As they come back to the two for long pole, Jack, um, Ariska's gone clear. She's a clear by a length or so. Don Juan trying smoothly on the outside. Happy Chimes there with a chance as well. Coming right around the field with a nice run is Jasky. As they come inside the final for long, it is still Ariska in front. Challenges strongly on the outside. It is Don Juan coming to a run. And here comes Jasky to Martin. He can also the tremendous run towards the outside. And she's going the best of the lot. It's in front and going strongly. Jasky coming away from her field. Ariska running on strongly. Don Juan plugging on. But Don Juan is going to be second. Ariska wins it from Don Juan. Then on the inside, um, sorry, Jasky wins it from Don Juan. Ariska is, is third. Then there is the other Martin. He can horse, Kimai. And the last one just going past as the band. In a moment, we'll have the official result. The winner has been led in by Mr. and Mrs. Lati. Ronnie Burke is there as well, and I believe the other young lady must be a Lati as well. Nice filly. Looks very, very racy, and she did a good job today. And we're on our way, a little slowly away, is Fly a Kite, also crowned image in the street fair, but it's Happy Go Lucky Romeo, happy uh, um, local image, and then on the outside I can see Falcon Crest, then Cutters, and the one left on the outside going extremely well is Cousteau, and uh, moving up on the inside is Lucifer. They have just about three and a half to run. They meet the rising ground, it's Happy Go Lucky, and then the two horses in similar colors, and they, uh, sorry, there's one on the one on the outside is Falcon Crest. Between horses uh, comes the number nine horse, Local Image. Then on the inside comes Romeo going well. Custo exploding on the outside to join the leaders. Uh, then the one in between horses, I can't pick that one up at all. Custo uh, comes to join them on the outside. It is in actual fact uh, Abby Gold who joins them on the, on the outside. But they're coming for home. It is Restoration and Happy Go Lucky. Abby Gold, Custo, and Covers on the outside. And these six are swept right across the track. And then Peachy Keen is making a run. But inside the final furlong, it is Abby Gold and Cutters. Cutters comes to the front inside the final 100 yards and wins it. Going away by three quarters from Abby Gold. Happy Go Lucky, Restoration, Peachy Keen, Custo. Then comes Romeo. Uh, Cat Baloo, Falcon Crest dropping away, High Runner, Lucifer, Hash, uh, wide on the outside uh, uh, comes the number uh, 13 horse, I think that was, uh, sorry, Cat Baloo, and then uh, the next, the last one of all was Fly a Kite. In a moment, we'll have a result for you. And the winner coming back in here now being led in by trainer Ronnie Burke on this side of us and owner Carl Williams. Everton Miller is the successful jockey, as I said, a double for him this afternoon, riding the first and second uh, winners. Light flashing for this, the third race of the day, Scott, and they're off and running. 
Uh, the Ayatollah came out quite quickly, but he is quickly displaced by Island Ruler who picks it up. Island Ruler goes on now by a length from Irish Miss joining him on the outside, joining her on the outside, rushing up quickly on the outside as quick maneuver. Also, there is High Runner, the Ayatollah losing ground. Too soon, boy, and the back marker at this stage is Abdul. Three and a half furlongs to go, and Irish Miss is gone clear by two lengths now from Island, Island Ruler towards the outside. Fleet Admiral making quick ground. Sweet Lady who's gone with the field is up in fourth position. On the inside, too soon, boy, her stable companion tracking along there. Quick maneuver on the outside, losing ground, and the Ayatollah tucked in on the inside. Two furlongs to go, and Irish Miss is gone clear by a length and a half now. Fleet Admiral the Grey showing as he goes back into third spot. Island Ruler running on in second now, towards the outside and circling the field with a nice run of Sweet Lady. Inside the last furlong and a half. And it's Irish Miss Claire from Island Ruler challenging on the outside. Uh, Sweet Lady coming out towards the outside to challenge, but she doesn't have a chance. It is Irish Miss and Island Ruler challenging strongly on the outside. Island Ruler picking it up now from Irish Miss, and she wins it by a half a length from Irish Miss. In third spot is Too Soon Boy. Then comes Sweet Lady, the, the eye of Taller, the last one just going past us, Abdul. In a moment, we'll have the official result. Uh, the winner coming back in here now, being led in by owner Sharon Morrison and trainer Ronnie Burke. That's a hat-trick for Ronnie Burke this afternoon, having trained the winners of the first two races, and Sharon looking absolutely delighted with Island Ruler. Horse number two is the winner. The light is flashing now. There they go. They're off and running. Horn blower stood up. He's just simply leaning in the box. He's not interested in going at all. But as they come with seven for long to go, Lil Chica set off in front. Springtime towards the outside. Anna Mercedes on a good long rain in the middle of the track coming across as well. Bull Prince tucking in. Rich Giff on the inside. Street King moving up sweetly on the, in on the outside. Tucking in his win to Frolic. Then there's Tarquin there. Uh, spotlight in touch. Sparky is there. And the last one at this stage is Lingfield. Five and a half for longs to go. And on the inside, it's springtime. Anna Mercedes going right up on the outside to join her. Four lengths before we come to Lil Chick in third position. Towards the outside, Rich Giff going up sweetly. Then uh, Bull Prince going sweetly as well. Also on the inside and going up is Tarquin going up to join the leaders. Behind these comes Sparky, Spotlight in touch. And the other two, Sp um, Street King and Lingfield towards the rear of the field. Up the hill they go, three and a half to go. And it is Anna Mercedes in front. Rich Giff going up on the outside to join her. And he's going quite smoothly. And to sneaking up on the inside is Sparky who's going quite well. Old Prince going well on the outside, also coming with a run is Tarquin, and Spotlight getting into the act as they come back to the drill hall. Just over two belongs to go, and it's Anna Mercedes, who's rich with gift, challenging on the outside. Sparky looking dangerous there as well. Tarkin with a run from the round, about a watch that one, and Spotlight with a big white blaze coming. Street King also traveling like a train towards the outside. As they come inside the last four long and a half, and it's still Anna Mercedes and Rich Gift just good it. Sparky challenging on the inside, towards the outside. Tarkin coming out the challenge, but it's the two in front. Anna Mercedes and Rich Gift. Anna Mercedes and Rich Gift. Anna Mercedes seems to be going to better. Rich Gift fighting right back, but Anna Mercedes wins it by a length from Rich Gift. Then there's Sparky on the inside for third. Fourth is Tarquin, Spotlight, Lana Corker, Street King, Lingfield, Little Chick, Winter Frolic, Bull Prince. And the last one just going past a springtime with Hornblower long way down the track having missed the break completely. In a moment, we'll have the result for you. The winner about to be led in by Amory Phillips. A very charming young lady. Philly is not too interested in being let down. This is the filly, David, not the lady. <laughs> so um, she's going to go away. But a very convincing winner, horse number eight, Anna Mercedes. Good afternoon and welcome to this, the 47th running of the Barbados Derby, the United Derby, sponsored, of course, by United Insurance here this afternoon. And we welcome our viewers to this great Barbadian classic. We have 11 horses starting here this afternoon. And in a moment, we'll run through them from numbers 1 to 12 with their starting prices for you on this glorious Caribbean afternoon. Horse number one, of course, is Mr. Peter Patterson's High Girl, two to one favorite for this race, the winner of the Hennessy Guineas in March of this year, a high class filly, small filly by highly delighted out of country girl. And we look for a great race here this afternoon from her, written by Tyrone Harding this afternoon in the absence probably of champion jockey Venice Richards. Horse number two is Tibbs Boy, owned by Mr. Roger Parafuccino, one of the outsiders in the field this afternoon, at the last count, 38 to 1, ridden this afternoon by Darwin Clark. His uh, major claim to fame here is his second in the Martinique Classic in April. His form besides that has been a little bit on the indifferent side, looks very well this afternoon, but is a 38 to 1 chance. Horse number three is a PAL Associates Diagram, presently an 11 to 1 chance, ridden this afternoon by Eustace Joseph. 
diagram is a Banco Divin Diadem chestnut gelding. Won a couple of races over five and a half furlongs in the first season and may have some stamina problems going nine in this sort of company here in the United Barbados Derby. Horse number four is Mr. C.D. Seal's star performer by Ibn Child of Proud Performance to be ridden this afternoon by the young English apprentice Jason Swift. Carries 123 pounds and at last count was a 15 to 1 chance. Horse number six is the Melrose Stables Tyra, ridden by the Jamaican Everton Miller this afternoon. A 7 to 1 chance. Tyra has uh, long been spoken of as being a really top class three year old, but hasn't really fulfilled the promise that this bay gelding by Green Ginger out of Dancing Tower, bred beautifully as he is, should perhaps earlier on in the year. Um, should not have any problem getting nine furlongs, but I believe that the firm going will probably be able to be against this big gelding by Green Ginger. Following Tyra, horse number seven, Mr. Philip Mosley's Paddy Bird, a spankingly good winner of the Manning's Mile in May, a 12-length winner of that second classic of the year. A three-to-one chance this afternoon. We'll probably see this one in front. Written by former champion jockey Ricky Griffith, returning to these shores after a successful sojourn in New York. Paddy Bird is trained by former champion jockey Chaloner Jones. Horse number eight is Mrs. Jill Wilson's Ginger Max, a 30 to 1 chance at the last count. This bay filly by Idle Ruler out of Bionia Scramble being something of a disappointment. She looks a little bit on the lean side this afternoon, but very much on her toes. This would be a surprise to win the classic here this afternoon. Horse number nine, one of the outsiders, a 58 to 1 chance on the board at the present time. The very handsome tea gift owned by Mr. Stan Blanchett, ridden this afternoon by Sean Hall. This one um, has had its uh, racing career perhaps a little bit limited by leg problems. A class individual, and if there was one to cause a major upset here this afternoon, it could well be the Martinican bred tea gift. Horse number 10, Dr. A.W. Lake's Decade. Uh, decade, ridden this afternoon by the Trinidadian champion Emil Ramsamy. This uh, highly rated Bay Gelding, second both in the Hennessy Guineas and in the Manning Mile. Um, well beaten on both occasions. He will stay nine furlongs. He's a five to one chance this afternoon. And if there was one horse that had a really good chance of upsetting High Girl and Paddy Bird, it could be the St. Kitts owned Decade. The last one in our rundown, the only grey in the field, Golden Opportunity, a grey filly by Crown Hat out of San Gal, owned by Mrs. Marcia Ford, at the last count of 34 to 1 chance and one of the outsiders, ridden by Rainy Latchman. This is a, a very consistent little filly indeed, will stay nine furlongs, but I doubt that she has the class to win the United Derby. A rundown then on the 11 starters for the 1986 United Derby, the 47th running of this great Barbadian classic. We have favourites in High Girl at 2 to 1, and also Paddy Bird in th at 3 to 1, 5 to 1 on Decade Horse number 10. A good um, race, should be an exciting one, and we look forward to bringing it to you. Running of the Barbados Derby, sponsored this year, of course, by United Insurance. They're on their way. A little slowly away with star performer, Paddy Bird has thought is the early leader. It is Paddy Bird from Decade. High Girl is right there. Then Tyra behind him, pulling hard comes Fun Galore. Then Tibbs Boy on the inside. Then Cra uh, Golden Opportunity, last one at the moment with a mile to run, is star performer. And the pace begins to pick up a little bit. They come down the chute for the first time. And it is Paddy Bird on the inside at a good steady gallop from Decade and Ginger Max. Then on the inside comes the favorite High Girl. Then comes Fun Galore. Then behind them comes a Golden Opportunity, Tibbs Boy, Diagram, Star Performer, <coughs> Tibbs Boy, and Tyra. We're on the top turn, Paddy Bird is the leader. Comfortably along, track now by High Girl. Fun Galore goes up nicely on the inside. Then on the outside comes Ginger Max, Decade as well there. Then about four lengths back to Golden Opportunity, Diagram. And the last one of all at the moment is T-Gift. Four and a half furlongs to go, and it is still Paddy Bird, not at a great gallop from uh, High Girl. Then on the inside comes... Fun Galore, then about two or three lengths back to Decade, beginning to pick up a little bit on the leaders. Now Golden Opportunity making some ground as well as they meet the rising ground. And it is still Paddy Bird from High Girl, Fun Galore and Decade. And these are beginning to stretch away from the others. Now about six or eight lengths clear of Golden Opportunity. And it looks as if it's going to lie between these four. As they come back to the two follow marker, Paddy Bird begins to go on. Here comes Decade. High Girl not going particularly grandly at this time. Fun Galore comes under pressure as they reach the two furlong marker. Paddy Bird is going extremely well indeed, stretching out as they come for home. High Girl is still second. Decade is in trouble, so too Fun Galore. 
but as they turn for home, it looks like Paddy Bird. Here comes Decade with a run, but Paddy Bird has about a three-length lead on them as they turn for home. High Girl is not getting into top gear the way she normally does, then Decade on the outside with a grand run. They're coming inside the final furlong, and it looks like Paddy Bird and Mr. Philip Bosley. Paddy Bird and Decade, Paddy Bird, High Girl, Decade, that's how they come home. From the low is the fourth horse. Gibbs Boy finishing from a long way behind is his fifth. Then comes Golden Opportunity, Diagram, Star Performer, Tyra, Ginger Max, and T Gift. Congratulations to Charlie Jones, Ricky Griffith, and Philip Mosley, the winner of the Barbados United Derby 1986, horse number seven, Paddy Bird. And congratulations to everybody concerned, particularly Charlie Jones. He's uh, weathered a little bit of criticism this last couple of weeks for his preparation of this filly but he has been 100% right. The presentation of the Barbados United Derby for 1986 will now place, take place in the Governor General's box. It will be presented by Sir Alan Davis, the Lord Mayor of London, who will present it on behalf, of course, of the United Insurance Company. Uh, Mr. Philip Mosley will receive it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, any moment I'd like to be flashing and this field on its way for the Cave Shepherd and Company Liberty Trophy. Nine furlongs for the top class horses. Somersault disappointed last time out going seven and a half furlongs on the softish ground. He's very much on his toes going down to the gates today. Light is flashing and they're on the way. Shardley girl just a little bit slowly up. But as they settle down and come towards the drill hall, Astro King kicks for the lead along with Green Man. Tucked in on the inside comes the Grey Master Driver. Bentham tracking and going up to the leaders. Then comes Somersault and ten lengths before we come to Shardley girl. As they come past the tennis courts and head down the home stretch for the first time, it is Astro King in front by two lengths from Green Man. Bentham tracking comfortably in third. On the inside comes Master Driver. Somersault is next. And Shantley Girl six or eight lengths back. Past the stand for the first time. And it's Astro King in front by four now from Green Man. Bentham tucked in in third spot and going around the early leaders. Then there's Master Driver. Somersault and eight or ten lengths before we come to Shantley Girl. Five and a half to run, and Astro King out in front on a tight hole. Green Man canter it in second. Bentham being switched to the outside as he cruises up into third spot. Master Driver waiting in fourth. Behind these comes Somersault, not yet making his move, and Shardley Girl out of it. And four furlongs to go, and Astro King is still the leader now by three. Bentham going up on the outside of the second horse, Green Man. He's going up to the leaders. Behind Bentham and still going quite comfortably is Master Driver. And five lengths back to Somersault, not trying at all. Back to the three for long pole, and they have um, Green Man has gone right up to join Astro King in the lead. Green Man kicks for home, and he's gone clear. In second spot is Astro King. Bentham circling on the outside in third. Master Driver will run from the rear as well. And these will be the ones at the end. Towards the mile pole, and it is still Green Man with Bentham tracking on the outside, and he's coming to challenge. Master Driver trail on the inside. Astro King seems to be beaten into the home stretch, and it's Bentham who picks it up, and he goes clear. Well, he looks all up over the Master Driver traveling smoothly on the inside and towards the inside is still Green Man but this is Bentham on the hands and heels from Sean Hall. Master Driver trained desperately not going to get there in time. It is all Bentham. He wins it by a length from Master Driver. Then there's Astro King coming back to be third. Green Man in fourth. Six or eight lengths before we come to Somersault and the last one by 15 lengths is Shardley Girl. In a moment we'll have the official result for you. Here we see the champion coming back being led in by owner David Seal and uh, the Minister of Sports, Community Development and Labour, Mr. Wes Hall. And of course, the man in the saddle is Sean Hall. That's the Minister's son. Certainly a good performance by the horse, and Sean is definitely one of the better jockeys around today. And they're on their way for the eighth race on today's program. These, uh, they're coming towards us for the first time. A wall of horses looking at us. Navarro Secundo, Menites on the inside, and Navarro Secundo, the two early leaders. Happy style on the outside. Then on the rail we see Double Room tucked in in the middle. Behind him comes Kay Hagen, King Jasser. Then comes the favorite Stan Grave Park, Son of a Gun, OK Joe, Super Bowl. And the last of the two Breezy Horses, Sovereign Reef. And the last one going by us here now is discreetly yours. Six and a half furlongs to run and the Happy Style is the leader from Navarro Secundo on the inside. Then Kay Hagen traveling very smoothly on the outer. Then back to the inner. Two lengths, three lengths behind the leaders comes Menites. Then another couple of lengths back to OK Joe running a good race. Then Double Room, Stan Grave Park beginning to move up. 
on the inside comes Sovereign Reef and the last one at the present time is Super Bowl. Four furlongs to run and it is still Happy Style Creole showing the way home from Navarro Secundo on the inside. Then on the outside improving nicely now is Kay Hagen. Then comes Menites and Double Room Stangrave Park at the top of the hill with about two and a half furlongs to run. And it is still Happy Style now by three quarters of a length from Kay Hagen. But Navarro Secundo is running a good race and showing his head on the outside comes the favorite Stangrave Park with Double Room tracking him. And Benites beginning to make a run at them. At the mile pole, just under two furlongs to run. Kay Hagen is the leader. Stangrave Park under pressure on the outside. Happy Style is still there. And coming with a wide run around the outside is Sovereign Reef. They're coming inside the final furlong. And it is Kay Hagen going the best of them now. Stangrave Park coming to join on the outside. Happy Style on the inner. Behind him is Sovereign Reef on the inside. But it is Kay Hagen. Three and a half lengths clear now of Stangrave Park. And Sovereign Reef finishes quickly. Then comes Super Bowl on the outside. Navarro Secundo runs a great one. Then on the inside comes Happy Style, then on the outside Double Room, on the inside is Menites, then comes discreetly yours, King Jasa, uh, son of a gun, and okay, Joe. Uh, the winner now coming back in, led in by the connections, horse number 11, Kay Hagen. Written this afternoon by Everton Miller. This is his third win on the second day of the Barbados Turf Club's second season of racing. The result in the frame, 11, 6, 1, 1 and 5. The light flashing. And there they go, they're off on a running cover, and if so, why not just a little bit slowly out as Country Square goes to the front, but he's quickly displaced as the great Gene's Choice comes through to pick it up. It's Gene's Choice in the lead as they come with just over a mile to run towards the outside, Freshwater making steady ground, Country Square between horses, tucking on the inside is Parkland Brook going quite well, and also there towards the outside, and... Um, I don't quite pick up that one, but as they come to seven furlongs to go, it's fresh water on the inside, Sparkling Brook bowling along towards, the, as she picks it up, it's Sparkling Brook in front, from fresh water, the great jeans choice on the outside going well, if so, why not in full spot, being pushed along, two or three legs before we come to Country Square, tucked in on the inside is a High Fandango, going up on the outside is Super Something, so rare, then comes Yuli, and the back mark at this stage is Cavern. Five, about uh, five furlongs to go, it's Barkley Brook settling down in front by four lengths. She's kicked on by four from fresh water. If so, why not on the inside going up? Also going up is Jean's Choice, the grey. Country Square chugging along at one pace. So we're making ground from the rear. And the back marker at this stage is Yuli. Three and a half furlongs to go as they go up the hill. It is still out in front, Sparkling Brook by a length. No, that lead coming back as Freshwater goes after. Jean's Choice, the Gray is there. Country Square coming with a run from the rear. If so, why not? Seems to be beaten. So we're making ground on the outside. And the back marker at this stage, it is Yuli. Back to the drill hall, and it is still in front. And it's Freshwater who kicks through, and he picks it up. Freshwater in front now, and Country Square coming with a run on the outside. Jean's Choice, there with a chance as well. And on the inside, Sparkling Brook losing ground rapidly. As they come towards their home turn, and it is still Freshwater in front, Country Square right on the outside, also making ground is Cavern, and Soraya making a run on the outside, but it is Country Square picking it up inside the last 100 yards or so, Freshwater running on again, Cavern is in third, Soraya is there, I don't think they're going to catch Country Square, he's going to win it quite comfortably, wins it now from Freshwater, Cavern is third, fourth is the great Jean's Choice, then there's Soraya, five lengths back to Super Something, Sparkling Book, if so, why not, Yuli and High Fandango, in a moment we'll have the official result. Here comes the winner, Country Square, being led in by Mr. Johnny Hudson, who bred this gelding at uh, the Mount in St. George, and that's his daughter helping with the job of leading in, of course, the jockey, Ricky Griffith. Well, the curtain uh, closes on what has been a truly special day's racing here at the Garrison Savannah. This is the second day of the Barbados Turf Club, second season of racing for 1986. Today, of course, was United Derby Day, and we saw the 47th classic won in terrific style by Mr. Philip Mosley's Paddy Bird, breaking the Derby record and replacing it with a truly memorable time of 153 and a fifth. Confidently ridden, as you saw on the tape earlier on, winning by Ricky Griffith, making every pole a winning pole, and then following that, a track record breaking performance by Mr. David Seals' Ben Tom. Confidently and smoothly written by Sean Hall, the Big Bay returned a record smashing time for nine furlongs of one fifty and one fifth of a second, replacing his track record set up in the Coxburg Gold Cup of one fifty and three fifths of a second. We've had some good races throughout the day, good payments, and excellent second day's racing, and witnessed by a good crowd. We hope you enjoyed it. Good night.